Jags podcast episode 79 this is our first episode that we can talk about a actual Jaguars game if you can call it that can we call it that I'm not sure that was pretty bad that was pretty bad you can find us on uh, Twitter YouTube Instagram Facebook all those things just search another Jags podcast Um, you can find us on there we're YouTube live we stream all of our shows live on YouTube you can go to our channel another Jags podcast for our live shows so we just had a preseason game let's jump right into it what are your thoughts right off the rip? Pretty rough. Is there even any positives? Defense look pretty straight. I think there definitely are some positives, but I want your oh, overall man. like overall thoughts. Nick Foles can't get injured, and the offense has to stay pretty healthy for it to be a good year. Why? Because the offense looked bad tonight? Didn't look... I mean, none of it looked very good. Let's start with the offense. What do you think about the offense? You said the offense didn't look good. Char- uh, what Char- specifically? Uh, that... That shark, he probably that was a pretty bad throw by him. He probably should have caught that. Didn't look too good. Offensive line, Can looks like what Can usually looks. He's how did you like him at center? Oh God! <laughs> there was one play where he played center that uh, he ducked his head right at the snap. He Not, looked he looked like us playing center. In the it's NFL. weird how you like that just transition makes such a big difference. Yeah, Lender. Certain players can make it Lender. He he goes back and forth. Certain players can make it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What I liked about the offense is there was a lot of motion. We we kind of got away with that. With Hackett and even back to Olsen, kind of lost that the motion offense. Yeah. So I mean, there was times where there was even like two guys in motion at the same time. They were like they were shifting, and we were and we were sitting there thinking like, man, was that time that we've seen a shift, like an mm-hmm. offensive shift from our original formation? So that was interesting to see. The two tight end sets stood out to me, especially for having two pretty average tight ends. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you got to think you want to at least have like depth. You that, think that's because the offensive line is not very good and Minshew is a rookie, or? That, or a sign of things to come. I don't know. I think they tried to run their offense. Yeah. I would think they would. You I know, mean, I mean, I mean, it's pretty vanilla in the preseason. And it's his first game ever. You're still going to run through your formations and things like that. And two tight end sets, ace back, one running back, you two split you out wide receivers. I can't imagine that being a common feature in the offense this year. I think it is. I mean, think about it. That's. I hope not, honestly. Swaym O'Shaughnessy on the field at the same time. As a and full then back. you have Westbrook and Chark out there. So just less fullback. Obviously, no fullback. No this fullback. Year. Trust the tight ends, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting to see. I mean, your offensive line needs to really produce if that's going to be the case. That's how you're going to go. Um, I thought Minshew overthrew that corner to Chark. I mean, it was a little underthrown. I mean, it was just not no, no, a no. I'm pass. talking about the corner. The cor- it was a corner like on the first drive of the game. I think uh, Minshew overthrew him, and then Minshew got sacked. Okay, so his first three and out was pretty bad. It was rough. Yeah, it did not look very good. Oh, here's a positive. How about Keelan Cole taking that kick kickback? Looked a lot more athletic than I thought he was. He's quicker. fast. I mean, yeah. he's a fast player, and he is that on kick return. And that may be a role for him. Yeah. I mean, if he's housing kickoffs like that, then now there's a really bad holding call on uh, uh, Wingard. <laughs> Wingard, our favorite player, Wingard. There was a big holding call on him. Brought the play back. He had back. a few bad plays in the first quarter. He did. He yeah. needs to kind of step up his game. He needs to not see the field, hopefully. Well, everyone. I mean, this is his chance, and he needs to take advantage of it, and he did the opposite of that in this game. For sure. How big are the safeties a concern to you? Revis looked pretty good at times. Well, Revis, I think, looked good the entire like the entire game. He only had a couple he, of plays. I, I, he missed a few tackles, I saw. I like the way he came downhill. I mean, yeah. he, he came downhill at the snap, good angles, good pursuit of the ball. What kind of pops into my head, though, is that both Gerard Wilson and Ronnie Harrison are those come-down safeties. Yeah. Like, play in the box. My concern isn't so much at safety as it is at free safety Mm -hmm. because do we even, I mean, I I know everyone likes to say that safeties are interchangeable, but who plays free and strong? Like, let's say we're in a cover three and you have a middle of the field, third safety. Who's playing that? Is it Gerard Wilson or is it Ronnie Harrison? It's probably Wilson. But Gerard Wilson's like a box safety. I mean, he's, you know, he's, it's, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, that's an important position. That's where they'll send guys on post routes. I mean, hopefully there's not a lot of time to, Throw? The throw, yeah. Well, I mean, play action and getting outside the pocket. I mean, you know Deshaun Watson's going to get out of the pocket, and then DeAndre Hopkins is going to be running a post route in the middle of the field. Um, and then Gerard Wilson's going to be covering DeAndre Hopkins on a post route. I, I mean, Or let's say Andrew Luck, who can use his feet, gets out of the po- outside the pocket. T.Y. Hilton running down a middle seam, middle of the field. Is that Gerard Wilson? I mean, we haven't seen him play, so we don't know. But 
I've never seen him do that before. Back to the Chris Brzezinski days of uh, Chris Wingard reminded me a lot of Chris Brzezinski. Yeah. Wyoming tight end, not or good. Wyoming safety, not good. <laughs> Whiffing tackles. Seemed like he didn't belong on the field. Jeez, type of guy. Yeah, for sure. Josh Allen, how about his big play? Looked good. First play of the game. Fast off the ball. Yeah. yeah. He came off the snap quick. Uh, he did have that false start call, though, or that offsides call. Yeah. So that kind of showed maybe he's a little too quick, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's rookie mistakes. Yeah. James J- O'Shaughnessy had a false start. Jitters. James O'Shaughnessy should not have the jitters. He's been in the league for a number of years. I think it's his third year, and he shouldn't have the jitters. Yeah, third or fourth. And he has a... I meant mostly Josh Allen jitters, but yeah. Yeah. So overall... Defense, since we shifted over there quickly, looked pretty good though. Yeah, um, Taven. I know a lot of Jags fans were ripping on him on Twitter. Was kind of playing a lot, but didn't really show up. Can you take anything away from that in the preseason? I think so. Yeah, yeah, because you expect guys, and I'll put Smoot in that same category. Yeah, you expect those guys to just like eat on this level mm-hmm. of play, and you expect them to. But I mean, going against Lamar Jackson, the style of offense. You kind of it's. Do you think it's more see ball get ball? You can't really attack. I know it's. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, Lamar Jackson went on his first three drives. He was four for six for 59 yards. He had 138 passer rating. Pretty good. Yeah. Now I know he's playing a watered down defense, and like our backups weren't even playing. But again, like this was the game that you expected, guys. Like Taven Bryan. You hope they do. Josh Allen showed it pretty quickly. Made it. Yeah. Even guys like Eli Anku. I thought he's long gone. I thought this this needed to be the game where he showed out. I mean, he has experience. Yeah, he played a lot at the end of last year. He was the type of guy that needed to come in and just like bully people. Yeah. So hopefully it was just they were taking it easy. And, no one was trying to get hurt. The Raven the Ravens do have a pretty solid offensive line. Uh, Yonda's good. Stanley's good. Uh, the Oklahoma guy Orlando Brown's pretty good. But yeah, they didn't. It didn't seem to. Besides Allen. I mean, they ran the ball pretty well against us. They passed the ball pretty well against us. Yeah. I mean, overall, Linebackers is going to be, oof. Are you worried at all about the result of the, today's game? Am I worried? It's the first game. I mean. It's uh, 26-0 my, I, in the I saw, I saw someone tweet this earlier. Remember when the Tampa Bay Buccaneers came up here in 2017 and kind of whooped us up a little bit? Jalen was getting burned. That's when yeah. the whole you should have picked a VH3 thing came around, mm-hmm. and we make it within five minutes of the Super Bowl. So I don't That's know true. how much you can take away from this. That's true. But, oh, man, safety could be an issue. Linebackers, it's, it's I mean, Leon Jacobs got to stay healthy. Leon Jacobs played a little bit. Yeah, I think we do have talent. I mean, Leon, Jake Ryan are both pretty solid. They need to stay healthy. There's a, we didn't there's see a fine, Quincy Williams. Yeah, there's a fine line there. They really have to stay healthy. Yeah, not a lot of depth there. I'm ex- I wonder what capacity the starters will play next week. Um, I believe I've already heard that Foles is playing, so it's going to probably be the first quarter. Yeah, but we heard a lot of things that weren't true about this week. Okay. We heard Chark wasn't going to play. We heard Taven Bryan wasn't going to play, right? Or no, yeah. we, no, we knew who was going to play. It was Taven and, um, and uh, we, we and heard Godboy, the left yeah, tackle. Yeah. I'm not sure who else it was, but those are the two that stood Obegi, out. Obeggy, whatever his yeah, name is. I couldn't even tell you. Cedric. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, so who knows? They're not, they're not going to put information out there, obviously. What did you, you think about that? Challenging the pass interference call. We both were we were watching the game together. I liked it. Just uh, kind of pushing the refs there a little bit. See what came out of the situation. I mean, what does it hurt? It's a preseason game. Is that going to oh, slow the game down? Definitely. That's what it's a slippery slope. That's the only thing that. Yeah. Does that concern you? Yeah, a little bit. And I mean, is that going to take away from a game-winning play? Like you win the Super Bowl. Oh, there's a slight push off. Like how? I mean, it's so. I feel like most people have always been kind of for the challenges of plays, especially if Jaguar fans, Miles Jack wasn't down, certain plays like that. But it's a very slippery slope. It was one of those plays that, like, like I love it by Doug. It's such a Doug thing to do. Yeah. I love Doug Marone. Yeah. And he gave a little shoulder shrug, like yeah. almost laughing afterwards. Yeah. I believe he said, I think he said an effort. <laughs> that would be a Marone esque yeah. type thing to say. But do you? We have 86 total yards of offense right now, by the way. Wow. So we're going we have more penalty yards. We're going into the fourth quarter, Ooh. for those of you that aren't watching it live on YouTube. We are watching it as we're recording this. And the offense does not look good. They just punted again. Logan Cook did have a decent punt, put it inside the 10-yard line. So that was good to see that he was able to recover from his first half, not playing so well. Let me ask you about a guy who we have never talked about on the podcast. He had an interception for the Jags. It's Tay Hayes, defensive back. Okay. Never heard of him, actually. 
Never heard of him, huh? Nope, not at all. Well, fortunate for you, the Another Jags podcast Twitter is there for you. We posted a little highlight video of him when he was playing, and he was all Sunbelt recognition as a junior and a senior. He played 52 games with 33 starts, including 26 to close his career. He had nine total interceptions, 33 pass defense, and 135 tackles. Where did he play? That's not bad. He played at a small school. He went to Appalachian State. I like the App State. Yeah, App State's not bad. little program. Yeah, they do well for themselves. Yeah. How well, I guess, is the question. You've watched football for a long time. How well does a defensive back have to play? How well does Tay Hayes have to play to make the roster? To make the team. Uh, I've heard Quinn Meeks, Meeks has not looked too good in practice. You thought he looked pretty good but he tonight. Looked, he looked pretty good tonight. I thought he did, yeah. Uh, who else was it you liked tonight? Uh, I, li- I like CJ Revis. Revis and CJ Herndon Revis both looked good. pretty solid. Herndon looked good. Yeah. Now, granted, it was against backups. Unfortunately, the defensive back position is like almost solidified. You think so? I feel like there, I yeah. feel like Meeks and Herndon can easily get that up. If if Savion no. Smith played well, or if someone gets cut, I feel like they. I think they would have to really, really ball out to move Herndon, Meeks, or Revis out of their spot. Okay. Because, like I said, at safety position. Would it surprise you if C.J. Revis is starting week three? Yes. It would? Yeah. Over Harrison and... What if he was starting over Gerard Wilson? Probably surprise me. I, we're probably in... That would surprise me what, whatsoever. It would be, I'd be worried and very surprised, so I hope that does not happen. Why? What, is, what has Jared Wilson has ever done to make you think that he could he could play that, that, we just t- gave that him high level? $10 million, so I would hope so. $10 million? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. $10 million, three years, $10 million, so I hope he plays up to the... That's not a lot. That's only three years. I mean, you have Bouye and okay, Ramsey next year. I don't know. Does Cody Davis get any push? That's who he I play, play with. Play tonight. That's who I play with in Madden all the time. <laughs> Free safety, seventy overall. Yeah, fast. We had some fun at Cody Davis's expense um, in one of my YouTube shows I did with Tree. Okay. It's we were talking about that how in Madden he's like the one of your I, top I, I, backs. I don't, I don't get it, but I'll, I, I'll take it. I don't know. I think our defense back position is pretty solidified. Uh, I'd be. I mean, there's another guy, Picasso Nelson. He didn't do much tonight. I don't. Even, I mean, I haven't even seen him play yet. He is might this, be on the field now. Is this now, a position but... that you think they're looking for roster cuts? And I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. So Alex Magoo is going to get the start in the fourth quarter for the Jags offense. Uh, one thing I know you wanted to talk about that we haven't ta- talked about yet. What did you think of uh, Armstead? Oh, Raquel Armstead, my yeah. boy. He looked pretty good tonight. Yeah. Yeah. He showed a lot of what he showed at Temple. Get, oh. Hitting the hole quick on that zone read. Always fell forward as well, yeah. Yeah. The inside zone, he looked good. The outside zone, he looked good. All yeah. the stuff that he did at Temple. Looking for contact. Leon Searcy even had a comment about that. Yeah. Looks for contact. He may be a guy that surprises some people. And I've been big on him. And I know a lot of people have because he, he looks good. He looks like a good player. Get Fernet a, a few snaps. Oh, yeah. I'll spell. Yeah, for sure. And Blue really didn't look that bad either. No. I guess fall forward. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeldon, I mean, Yeldon was pretty straight. I mean, this, Ivory, just th- hold on to the ball and fall forwards. This offensive line is going to give you 3.9 yards per carry. A gap. Yeah, they are. And if you can fall forward like Fournette does when he's healthy, then they'll be okay. So we're missing so much of the offense tonight. So I'm not too worried, but no, I mean, I you, definitely hope to see more next week. This is a glorified scrimmage game. Yeah. Um, we just saw Alex McGee with a terrible throw there on third and six. I, I hate to keep saying this, but I saw another tweet. Um, might have been Dur- Mike Duraco, ESPN Jacks writer. They definitely gained more from the first two days of practicing with the Ravens than they, they did this, with this game for sure. Oh, yeah, because the yeah. starters could actually get yeah. experience. This is just good to see because, I mean, this may be boring to Jags fans, but this is like actually roster depth. I'm glad to see uh, Josh Allen out there. I really wanted to see Juwan Taylor. That's a shame we couldn't see him. Yeah, go. I wonder why you didn't see Juwan Taylor. Uh, not, don't risk it. So it's all right, but I was yeah. excited to see him. Any thoughts on Will Richardson? Um, I only saw a few snaps Technic- technique wise as an amateur he looked pretty good. Um I saw didn't one get beat. I saw one pass protection snap where he had a good kick, yeah. got out in front of the pass rusher, but the pass rush that he got really wasn't that impressive, so I'm I'd be hesitant to evaluate him he didn't on that. Get beat, but he did look good on that rep though. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. He he looked good. His but And I, who was he playing next to? Cam was at center and right guard was Shatley, they moved so, Shatley out yeah, there, so. so they flipped him. And yeah. um, Can, like we said, didn't look too great. Shatley, you're getting what you're getting out of Shatley. Yeah. And you gotta love T. Shat. Yeah, he's a guy that's gonna obviously make his way onto the roster. But man, how we need to get him on here. He's a cool dude. Yeah, yeah. How demoralizing it, it would be if we put a goose egg up at the end of the game. And this is this is live. I, so I don't, I don't care about that. So if you're going back and listening to this tomorrow or the next day, 
and you're like, wow, you're an idiot. We did put a goose egg up. Or you're an idiot. We scored 100 points in the fourth quarter. I'm sorry. We're watching it live in the fourth yeah. quarter. You can Isn't watch our Reddit show live. Look beautiful, by the way? Right, that's illegal. We would never do something like uh, that. I meant Schmedit yeah. streams. The, um, again, this is a little pump for our YouTube channel. You can watch us live on there. You can find us on the Big Cat Country website and their podcast network and Overtime Network's podcast networks. We are all over the place, and um, we're excited about this Jag season. Week one of the preseason didn't really look as good as we want. Obviously, offense looked pretty. I was hoping to see a few snaps of Foles. Shame. I'm not disappointed. No Conley. No Pryor. I don't get that really. I think Pryor had a little injury. Okay. Yeah. Um. I think for me, it wasn't so much the, the people that didn't play. It was the people that did play and did not look. Good, didn't yeah. look good. Yeah. Man, I really wanted a lot more of Gardner Minshew, man. I know he had a huge hype train. Oh, my God. Everybody right. loved him. They, how quick did it turn? I, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I think everyone kind of expected that. So The arm strength did so, not Okay, before we, get to, we're gonna take, before we get to Gardner Minshew, we're going to take a quick break. And we're going to talk about Gardner Minshew versus Trace McSorley. Similar guys, right? Similar type play style, similar size. Yeah. Um, a little different. Trace is a little bit more... Pro, uh, Spread runs, yeah, but and yeah, but stop arm the same strength size. size. How about that? Yeah, yeah arm strength size are the same. Um, so we're gonna take a quick break, and we're gonna get to the quarterback position and how it looked, and maybe we'll get to see a few extra steps of Magoo here on this break. So if you're watching us live, we'll be back in a couple minutes. If you're listening to the podcast, please, please support these ads, um, whatever they are. Do it. They're they're good stuff, and uh, I could be more specific, but. We don't do much research around here. Um, so we're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll be right Ooh. back. Welcome back to another Jags podcast. This is episode 79. We're breaking down the preseason game. We finally have some Jaguars football to watch. And although it's preseason, it feels so, so good to see those sexy white tops on those black bottoms. Mm. Out of uniform combinations, where does this rank out of all of them for you? Where does this one rank? Where top, does this one rank? Top four. Top four. So give me your <laughs> give me your give me your rankings. My favorite teal top, black bottom. Okay. Number two, black top, teal bottom. Do they do that? They have done that. Okay. Then all teal. Okay. Then all white. So they're not top four. This one's not top four for you. Wasn't that in there? No, this is all white. You said all oh, white. Oh shucks, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm so very, for me, it's I'm all. Get it white counting my, then. My mine's all white. Number one, those okay. look so clean. Okay. I've all teal. The color kinda, rush alternate. You call it the color rush alternate okay. is my favorite. Beautiful. Um, I then I like the teal on black, the black on teal, and then I like the all teal. I like the white on teal. What the white jerseys, teal pants. I like them all, man. For some reason, teal. our white looks good. I like our them. white looks good. If like we had a little more teal on the jerseys, they'd be so sick. I don't know, man. They're kind of growing on me, man, but. Anyways, okay, so on the break, you mentioned that we didn't talk enough about Raquel Armstead. Yeah. What do you want to add about him? He's a beast. What made you think that? I mean, you can't just say he's a beast. I mean, he is a beast. He's the rock for a reason. No, but uh, for real, uh, what impressed me most? I wish we could have seen more out of him from the in the past game, but I know it's the preseason, uh, so there's not too much you could do about Minshew having a weak arm. But he looked good. Fell forwards. I know I've said that a bunch, but he looked good. He ran with. I thought he would be a little bit more tenacious. He got taken out a little, a couple times. Um, His first game in the NFL. I know, I know. You said there's a few hits that he's gonna. Yeah. He's gonna get welcome to the NFL. But speaking of the first game in the NFL, oof. And you actually made the comment, "Welcome to the NFL." Minshew's hit. When Gardner Minshew got destroyed, destroyed by a blitzing linebacker up the middle. I'm surprised he took that hit. Now it could have been the running back's fault. It could have been the lineman's fault. We don't know the call or the protection so we can't know but he, he also fumbled the snap he did also fumble the snap it's a good point yeah um so his helmet came off that was good so we look at the two quarterbacks mago or not mago i'm sorry trace mcsorley and gardner Minshew. Yeah. similar size similar arm strength and then Mc, the, mcshu th- or mcsorley he threw it pretty i thought he threw it with more velocity and I thought it overall arm strength, he looked a lot better tonight. He did. And yeah. Minshew just looked like noodle arm out there. Yeah, noodle arm. And I, I tweeted that he threw like my seven-month-old daughter. So <laughs> It wasn't that bad. It was pretty rough. He had man. a couple throws that he hit, people. Oh, that rollout, that was three yards. Prototypical. <laughs> the PA boot. Oh, my. The PA boot to O'Shaughnessy or whoever it was, the tight end. I can't believe they said that. that prototypical Minshew yeah, right the, there. The Come the on, Jeff guys. Swain. It was a... No, he hit... Um, he hit... 
who was the receiver that we weren't that impressed with in the hands, and he dropped it. I was I'm talking about Tyree Brady. It was Tyree Brady. Yeah, I liked it. It was a so horrible throw by he, Mich- Minshew. No, he didn't. It was weak. Look, no, are you kidding me? Tyree Brady's like bread and butter is that he's like a fade receiver, and it he's wasn't tall. a fade. Yes, it, it was, was short to him. It was a fade. He turns around, and then the defender never turned okay. around. Which, okay, but. Tyree Brady hit, it hit Coming Tyree from the Brady. kid that grew out a mustache just to be like Gardner. It, it hit on. Tyree Brady's hands. Okay. And you have to catch the ball if you're a fade receiver. I'm sorry. And if you're Tyree Brady, you have that, to catch the ball. That is how you look, make the roster. Yeah, if you're, pretty, if you're Julio that's Jones. That's a pretty poor throw. Julio Jones is you don't, top. You don't have to catch oh. that. If you're a receiver that is okay. known for that, Keenan I mean, Allen. That's a hard, that was not a very good throw. if you're throw. Tyree Brady, you have to come down with that ball. You have got to come down with that ball. Okay. Did I, did, I see did, the, he, did he make a job tonight? The, the Ravens kicker. He's referring to the Ravens Beast. kicker, who uh, is the backup kicker. Obviously, they're paying. I think Tucker's the highest paid kicker in the league, is he yeah. not? So they bring in this backup kicker. His name's like Yednik or Vednik. He crushed it tonight. And he's had he had a, he drilled a fifty five yarder down the middle. He's with been, distance to go. Yeah, he crushed been perfect it. inside thirty yards, inside forty yards. So the Bucks could use him. There's a lot of and we're talking about that. The kicker's a volatile position, like. One day you're a kicker, one day you're a free agent, and one day you live somewhere else. Like how how quickly did the Jason Myers Josh Lambeau swap happen? Just like one day it was like, all right, Scobie's out, Myers is in. What game was that? I can't remember. Or, and then and then one day it was Myers is out, Lambeau's is in. Uh, Myers missed two field goals in 2016 at the end it was of the year. Right? Was it, it 2017? Was it the Jets game? Was it? 2017? Yeah, it was the year that we went to. I know he missed two field goals at the end of a game, yeah, and yeah. then they just replaced him with Lambo. Probably had to be the Jets, because that's where the reason we lost. Maybe. Yeah. So, kicker, I think that guy might have earned himself a, a job. Yeah. Good for him. That's what the preseason's all about, and that's why you get out there and you kick kicks. Yep. Did anyone on the Jags look like they earned themselves a job? Um... I know it's week one, and like I know, obviously, no one's gonna win a job. I mean, I'm not delusional. I know the depth wasn't there, but was Rivas ever? And I mean, if he played poorly, could he get cut? He I think he might move himself up the the depth chart, maybe. But I don't think he was ever in danger of being cut. Okay. Um. Besides him, uh, anybody in the offensive lines? Oh, Cedric. Richardson. I mean, I don't know. If anyone, I would say Tay Hayes is probably the closest person to playing themselves on the roster. That one play? Because he had an interception, and he he's listed as 5'11 on the his college Appalachian State's website when I think Cersei called him 5'9. So he, look, he looks pretty short out there. I know the short corner hasn't really been successful lately in the NFL. That's the only thing that concerns me. I mean, look at Vernon Hargraves. I mean, that dude was like... It depends on the case. LaMarcus Joyner is pretty good, and he's 5'9", so it just depends on the player. Okay, that's true. So, yeah. VH3, though, I thought he'd be so good. I, I If Jalen wasn't there, I would be I was cool with him, honestly. So VH3 was a beast coming out of high school. Wasn't yeah. he, like, the first... In college. He was the first, like... Non-athlete number one corner, wasn't he? Like, recruit? Recruit? Wasn't he the first? I know, like, in a while. Like, usually... like He was the first what? Wasn't he the first, like, pure corner... That was like the number one corner in the league. Like, weren't they usually athletes? I'm not sure. He was all SEC first team as a rookie and, or as a freshman. You don't see that very often, yeah, especially true. at that position. He was just so fundamental. So good. Boys yeah. And coaches. Yeah, he was a beast. Yeah. So, anyways, I don't know how we got on yeah, that. But one day. Yeah. <laughs> maybe one day we'll buy low on him and he'll be our. Hey, look I'll what happened with like Joe Hayden. He Free extended safety, his career a little bit. Um, So. I think that the defensive back position just kind of showed us that they're they're good. They're good where they're at. Yeah. I wish we could have seen more of uh, Dayton Jones, Don Travis Russell. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, Russell played, but I didn't really. Yeah. He didn't stand out. We'll, we'll watch them. Uh, they were in such a vanilla scheme. Like, I don't think I saw very many. Obviously, there wasn't very many blitzes. Yeah. Played cover two, cover three. I mean, it was such a simple watered down defense that everyone knows how to play. It was hard to see any pressure. We got Tanner Lee back in the game. Keeps, I think that's Drew Lock. Every time I see that, <laughs> Tanner Drew really had a nice little out route there. He threw um, to it appears to be. I can tell you. <laughs> Isn't that sad when you're watching a game and we don't we don't even know who the players are? It's last year's number. It's like that's not <laughs> Safari and Jenkins, but <laughs> number eighty-eight. But Jerry Sandusky. That's who you're laughing about, Hillary. 
I would <laughs> <laughs> the Baltimore Ravens yeah, I didn't get that uh, commentator. They're play by play guy. His name's Jerry Very Jerry. unfortunate for I, that gentleman. I wasn't I don't know what you're talking about. I was laughing <laughs> at that. But um it is good to see um the defense not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Offense pathetic though. Offense was not ideal. All right, so give the defense a grade. Uh B minus. Defense you give a B minus. There's some things they could have shorn up short up uh at times the run game or the defensive run game didn't look too good. Um and the pat I mean it was, it was okay for the first game. It was okay. Like if you would have asked me before the game which unit would have looked the best off of the rip, and I know they didn't play. Oh, the, I wonder what that one would be. What, what would you say? I think I would say the defense. Defensive line. Oh, okay, for the, just the defense. Right. So you're looking at Smoot, Brian, and Ku. Yeah. And Josh Allen. Yeah. If you're asking me like who's gonna who's gonna like dominate, I would say the defensive line would have dominated, and they didn't. Yeah. They got they got. I mean. They couldn't stop Lamar Jackson's, and I understand they were playing some ones. Yeah, but I don't care. I want those four to beat ones. Do you th- and yeah, I mean, because I want Jackson. those. I want two of those guys to beat ones, and I want two of those guys to come in as rotational players. Yeah. So, I want them to play well. I'm a little upset that they didn't, and I hope it's first game jitters or first yeah. game knocking the rust off. But I mean, that is a really good offensive line that they're going up against. Still, I'm not man. sure how many stars they had, but I believe there was a. Yeah, but at the same time, man, like, yeah, yeah, it's a little disheartening. I would give the defense overall a C plus. Really? Okay. Yeah. And um, I thought the secondary played all right. I thought the D line was very underwhelming, as I talked about. Linebacker is what we think it is, and since we don't, I mean, Najee Good didn't really stand out. Um, I did. I didn't even see who's the the linebacker from Georgia, uh, Raheem Wilson. Raheem Wilson. I didn't even yeah. see him. I, I, he might be hurt. I don't know. Yeah. Oh no, he's out for the season. Is he already? Yeah, he's out for the season. No, that's uh, the outside linebacker. Which Alana one? Alana Wu or something. Oh like that. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's uh, that he we, played the Bengals last they're year. They're definitely going to be looking at cuts for that position. They have to be right. They got to be picking. But I mean, then I see Duraco. He says we're a nickel defense. So does it really matter? I don't know, man. It does matter. I mean, when if you're in like fourth and one, what are you going to do? You're going to put so yeah, throw out those guys. Yeah, you know? I mean, do you think Ronnie Harrison ever gets moved to linebacker? M- Magoo just threw an interception. Was that Lee or Magoo? Might have been Lee. I think they're swapping Magoo and Lee out because Magoo did come in for Lee. And, uh, I mean, I like how the defense gets so hyped for each other with an interception. Everyone got yeah. super excited for T. Hayes. Where's the turnover purse? I haven't seen that tonight. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, it was uh, Magoo. Magoo. Yeah. Terrible Looks throw. Like <laughs> <the lock. laughs> Terrible throw. <laughs> okay, so not an impressive showing. All right, let's move to the offense, giving overall grades for the offense. A, I don't know if there's a low enough grade to give them tonight. A lot of people missing. You know what I was thinking the entire night? I was thinking, this is what our offense looked like last year when we were in the same position with a bunch of scrubs playing. I wouldn't trade positions with the last offseason. No. Here you go. Here's the question of the day. Would you rather have the offense that started week 17 for the Jags last year or the offense that started preseason so week I'm, one not tonight? Not comparable. Week one, week, preseason week one last year versus preseason one this year? No. Maybe. Week seventeen. No. Are you kidding me? That was you had you had Omame at left guard. You had Eric Flowers at left tackle. Gross. <laughs> you had, no. you, your running backs were Damian Williams. Damian Williams plays for the Chiefs. Or who, Carlos Hyde played for No, us. but not week seventeen. It was who was the Williams kid? I couldn't even tell yeah, you. Yeah. Tim Williams maybe. Yeah, and I'm then sure. uh you had tight end, Blake Bell. Yeah, the Bell does. I heard he actually made a pretty good catch today and I'm saying that like you it's quick to say that like you'd rather have last year's week 17, but no, I, I, I would not want that one. That's what I'm saying. This is week one preseason of this year. Oh, you're talking about the players that played today? Yes. Oh no, of course. I mean, I don't. I, I, that's, they're both trash. I couldn't. I couldn't <laughs> that's, okay, that's not my even point. an answer to that. This is my point. This preseason offense reminded me of the end of the uh, almost okay, the yeah, back half of the season last year. Yeah. Like, I'm did, not worried. There's, there's a lot of players that did not play tonight. I mean, Minshew looked a lot like Cody Kessler looked last year because of that offensive line or Kessler, for whatever reason. Kessler's a lot, a lot better. Did Minshew? Yeah. He didn't look good last year. I mean, I think he's a better player, but he didn't like look great last year. I'm showing old highlights of Ed Reed and Brian Billick and the Ravens. That was Ed a nasty Ravens. That's such a nasty Ravens team. Yeah. That Jimmy Smith tore to pieces. Yeah, Jimmy Smith did. Did they call that? Wow. <laughs> All right. So, offense, you're giving a what? Yeah, give us a grade. 
an F. F. I'm gonna D, say I'll give him a D because the pieces that were out. But yeah, uh, no, no, Gardner did not look good. Yeah, I mean, the, you have to take. Did a, you see? I never saw a strong contested catch. I don't believe maybe one. There's that one that uh, there was that one play uh, that Gardner threw. The guy uh, was not touched, so he got up. That was good play IQ. So I'll give him a D for that one. This is that one play. Yes, I think that was heads up. I'll give him that one. I think Alfred Blue looked good. I think she uh, Armstead looked good. I think Trey McBride looked good. I thought you said he didn't because he dropped that. Trey McBride. Trey McBride. Yeah, not Tyree Ray. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, mm, I don't know. I, outside of that, offensive line looked okay when Minshew was in. Yeah. It's hard to evaluate, but yeah, I'd give them a D as well. Yeah. So not a good overall grade for our beloved Jags. I mean, special teams, you probably have to give a low grade to as well. Besides, yeah, Logan because of the Cook. penalty. Penalty, that Logan one, Cook yeah. didn't have a good game. Bad punt, but the penalty... That should have been a punt return or a kick return for a oh, touchdown. Oh gosh, that hurts, man. Yeah, that Keelan Cole thing hurts. Do you think we see him there in the, in the yeah. regular season? I think he's he might have. I mean, he may obviously you can't win a job week one one yeah. in preseason, but I think he's on his way to working himself in as a kick returner. Him and when, Chark. I don't know if Chark. I mean, does Cunningham make the that's team? That's what I'm saying. Isn't that did the he reason he was tonight? signed? I don't think he did. Yeah, he's got to be cut soon, right? Yeah. So Cunningham, who we thought was going to be a kick returner, maybe, yeah. but I mean Westbrook kick returns too. Yeah, Chark. I, like a we're few not, of them. Like Joey has a funny thing that's about all the receivers that we bring in are all the same guy, like the small kick returner yeah. receiver, which is funny because that's like what these guys like Tyreek Hill are, and people try to emulate after. Yeah. But maybe the mold should be a Michael Thomas. Maybe the mold should be. Um, well, it was at one point when Julio came in. There was AJ Green. They yeah. went, they wanted to go big. Yeah. And same with the when. Uh, the cornerbacks, the cornerbacks got big for a minute too. It's funny how they change. There, the there's a, there a little era of little slot receivers. Remember that? Yeah. When they brought Wes in Welker. these guys, like Wes Welker. Oh god. And you see all these little guys that take over. Oh, oh, that's a torn ACL. Oof. He got up though. Okay, so for those of you that are <laughs> oh that are watching us live on YouTube, Jags D end, who will remain nameless because we don't know his name. Blitz the quarterback. Forty three. He, he got broke. <laughs> got broke by the Ravens quarterback. Like broke, like my towards ACL Enough for broke. Enough for us to audibly <laughs> gasp out loud. So, um, special teams. <laughs> back to the topic. We just is, um. Did Josh Lambeau kick tonight at all? I don't know if I. We haven't scored, so I assume not. We haven't kicked a field goal or no. a extra point. Wow. So you can't even give it a grade. <laughs> Cook didn't look very good. No. Okay, but we're talking about kicker turners. Keelan Cole might play his way onto it, and yeah. I'm excited for that for sure as yeah. well. Well, so we move on to week two of the preseason next week at home against the Philadelphia Eagles. So pre- preview this a little bit for us. What are you going to be looking for in week two of the preseason? Um, well, I've heard Foles is playing next week. Who knows what's going to happen because apparently <laughs> – Shark wasn't going to play this week and a few others, and they ended up playing. Hopefully more consistency from the offense. Uh, no penalties. There was a few penalties tonight that could have been cleaned up. Uh, and just cleaner routes. There, uh, and not a weak arm that we saw tonight. Hopefully Foles looks a little bit better than Minshew. Offensive line, though, I think if you... Um, I really want to see Juwan Taylor play. So it's a shame we couldn't see him tonight. What about from defense? What do you want to see out of the defense? Uh, better against the run and better tackling. Yeah, that's a, the past few years. That seems like our downside has been missed tackling. So, what about that'd be nice? Anything from the Eagles you want to see? Eagles wise, they're more talented than us. So hopefully we can we can show up and more fight than we showed tonight. Um, anyone specific on their team you would like to see? Um, our offensive line versus defensive line is pretty important. Um, our D line versus their O line. They have a pretty good O line. Yeah, their their D their yeah. offensive line's pretty good. How I, I I'm excited to see how our linebackers cover Zach Ertz if Zach Ertz plays. Yeah, I'm excited to see. And Goder, I'm sure Goder might play a little bit. Yeah, they're gonna do a lot of two tight end sets. They're he, gonna look. A he lot should like be us. on our team right now. Full should be throwing to Goder. Yeah. Well, what was he a second round pick? Yep. Who did we take? We took Chark. Chark. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I mean, Goddard would be our starter this T- year. Taven instead of Goddard. Would you take that? Mm. <laughs> Sounds nice. 
<laughs> oh man, I think yeah. I would. Yeah. yeah. Well, because Goddard would be a starter yeah. for sure right now. He'd be a beast. Imagine yeah. him throwing to Foles or the Foles throwing to him. That'd yeah. be. I've seen it before sight. somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> Game pass. <laughs> the uh, that would be nice to see for sure. Um, I'm excited to see the starters actually play. Yeah. Even if it's just like a series or two. Um, tonight, tonight, week one of preseason. It is what it is. I mean. If you're not a hardcore fan of the Jags and don't like to watch the depth chart battles and you don't like to like watch who's going to make the team, then week one preseason probably isn't going to be watched. And there's yeah. probably not a lot of people watching it. And we're probably not going to get a lot of downloads on this podcast because we titled it Week One Preseason Breakdown. People just do not care about the Week One Preseason Breakdown. Then you're probably not for us then because we love that. I've been waiting. <laughs> we love I've you. been waiting six months. For we this love game. you, but we know that. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 wow. My Butterfingers. It's probably a good idea because it's fourth and sixth. Okay. So, so that's football smart. IQ. But the interception on the stat sheet looks good. Is that good, Justin though. Tucker? Um, who is the Ravens third string quarterback? Any guesses? Anyone want to guess? Anyone in the YouTube chat want to guess? You can't look. You can't watch. If you're watching, don't guess if you are. No Flacco. I can't. I'm not sure who it is anymore. To draft someone? Well, it's McSorley. Didn't he play? McSorley wasn't even drafted. And he was well, already, yeah. Robert Griffin's too. So this is maybe the four. McSorley, I'm not sure who the fourth is. Wow. A lot of quarterbacks there in Baltimore. I'm excited. Back to the Eagles. Eagles? You think Nick Foles has a little something? Like more fire because he's playing? Probably not. You don't think he cares? Do you think the Eagles are going to be like, what's the, we know Nick Foles pretty well. Let's see what, uh. Do you think, you think. That pass relationship has any impact on the game whatsoever. Not even. <laughs> then he's going to be emotional. I'm, I'm not sure if he'll be emotional. I'm sure he'll be excited to see Peterson for what he did for his career and his former teammates. Yeah. But it's a preseason game. So, I mean. Yeah. Hopefully we meet in the Super Bowl. I'd be super for that. That would be that awesome. awesome. That would be awesome. Yes. Honestly, I'd like to meet anybody in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Anybody at all. Yeah, anybody. All right. So, have you been checking the scores around the league? I want, to do, I, have not. I want to do a little something fun just, here with just you. Just the Jags. All right, we're going to play a little I, game. I did see Baker was playing pretty well. Okay. Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones and Baker drive. look pretty good, yeah. yeah. But um, neither one of those people is going to be in this little game we're going to play. Okay. This game is called Guess Kyler Murray's through the fir- Stats Through the First Quarter Ooh. of the Chargers-Cardinals Week 1 preseason game. Okay. Um, do I get any lifelines? How many passes has he thrown? I will tell you, he's thrown seven passes. Seven passes. Wow, big night for him. It's only the, I we're not watching the game. He could okay. just played one series and they're putting him back in, but it's the end of the first quarter. Seven passes, you said? Yes. Does it show you how many runs he's had? Uh, I can look at rushing yards. Okay. But um, I need a completion guess out of you. Completion, seven throws. I'll guess he was five out of seven for tonight. Okay. I need yards estimation. Uh, 56 yards. And I need an average. 7.3. Okay. That doesn't, the math's not there, but. You're not far off. Okay. Yeah. Kyler Murray, 7 for 7. Okay. Wow. 100% completion percentage. Okay. 49 yards. Okay. 7 yards per throw. Okay. Not bad. Long of a 14. Okay. So. I meant average yards per attempt. I didn't mean average yards per completion. So don't think I'm. That would have been worse, actually. I mean, the math wise, it it would sound not very good. <laughs> so, so not bad. Are you excited to see Kyler Murray? Yes, he. Do you think I would have been okay with think, him if we didn't get Foles? I would have been all over the Murray train. He, I think he's gonna be a revolutionary talent. He's a beast. I think they run no huddle. I don't know much about that. I think they're gonna have a oh man. Clink. He was not very good at Texas Tech, but. No huddle? You think they're going to be all about that? I, have you ever seen a situation where a coach Chip. gets fired and then gets, yeah. gets the job increase or the job promotion to the level that Cliff Kingsbury did? Um, is that higher? hundred? I mean, obviously, it's 100% for Kyler Murray, but why him it's just, is the thing. He did recruit him. It is a really weird hire. I don't understand it. It's a really weird. I've never seen anyone who has gotten that type of promotion from being bad um, at his job. I mean, that does not happen very often. It was Texas Tech. Um, it is. A, it's really weird. The Jazz game just went final. I guess that's how serious they're taking Kyler Murray. Who knows? I don't. I don't I'm. I'm not really sure. Final score: Ravens twenty nine, Jaguars zero. 
Wow. Is this worst case scenario? No, nah, it's it's preseason. No one got thirty two players hurt. did not play tonight. So. No one got hurt. No one got hurt. So I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. I don't care if we lose every game twenty nine zero. If nobody gets hurt, yeah. I'm fine with it. Pretty sure the the Browns went the year they went 0 and sixteen, they went four and in the preseason. So And I think the the every year the Patriots win, they go in four, whatever yeah, the thing is. Right. But you know I heard I I was reading a uh an article about uh McVay. Yeah. He does not play his players at all in preseason. All four games they do not play. So. so each coach is different. Would you prefer the starters to not play? I wish there wasn't a preseason. I what should preseason be? Two games? Yeah. But I don't want to see eighteen games though. So two games and then sixteen? I want to see eighteen games. I don't. That's players already broken down enough as it is. I don't want to see that. I mean if you're playing four preseason games. How, but they don't play it. They don't play any snaps in the preseason, so that doesn't make it. I mean, they play a little bit. Eighteen. I feel like that's more grueling. They probably play what an entire game in the cold course of a preseason. I guess you so, think eighteen's a good idea. I mean, it's two, only, two buys maybe. Yeah, two buys an extra game and well, I'm seventeen. Fifty-five. Just add another week. Fifty-five game day active players instead of what is it? Forty-nine. Yeah. I I yeah. hate that. That makes no sense. I hate that rule more than anything. Well, it makes no sense. There's more wrist injury. You no, got there's it. not. You have fewer players. That's what the, the real the real issue is. They have to pay their players more money. Or there's yeah, more more money. Has more to be guarantee spent. money. And stuff. Yeah. that's true. You make a billion dollars. It's it's not about that. With oh, these guys. but our players' health. It's amazing. What the, the hypocrisy. It's the hip the hypocrisy. Thank you for that one for pointing that out. <laughs> hypocrisy. Thank you. Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. All right. So overall, oh my God, Minshew got destroyed again. Whew. Not much to talk about on this podcast, but. We will be breaking down more of... Are you going to break down that hit tomorrow? That's a nasty hit. He got destroyed. I have to admit, like we haven't gone back and watched the film yet. So this is all just reactionary stuff. Um, a reactionary show. We're going to go back and break down the film. Keep, look out for our Twitter for um, like breakdown of actual game film when I go back and watch it. Not going to be a lot to break down, given... A lot of ugliness. And like just people not playing, but it was just nice to get football back. It was yeah. just nice to get Jags football back, and I'm super excited for next week. No spirals tonight. I was waiting for a spiral. It's been a long time. From Minshew? From from any quarterback for the Jaguars. <laughs> I was expecting one from Foles, but he got held that, out. So. Yeah, well, he'll, he'll be there next week, I hope. Hopefully. All right, so we are going to be announcing our fantasy league this week on Twitter. And basically this is how it's going to happen. I'm going to put a post out there saying our fantasy league is live and DM if you are interested. We are going to choose from the DMs people that have had the best questions on the show. It's free to join the league. There's going to be prizes like random weeks for highest points and things like that. Winner will get a nice prize from us. Totally free to join. Um, you need to compete against us. We're going to be doing a live draft. Okay, We will tell you where we're going. We're going to all go to the same place. We're going to go to like a restaurant or something like that. Um, you can meet us out there if you're in the draft or if you're not in the draft, you can meet us out there. We're going to be hanging out. Um, it'll probably be one of our favorite places we'd like to go. We'll let you know more about that later. Make sure you follow our Twitter, our Instagram. Make sure you follow our Facebook and our YouTube channel. All right, uh, We are pushing YouTube because we like watching ourselves on the screen. One of us does. I'm just kidding. So make sure you go back uh, and you follow all those things. Um, we got a lot of stuff coming out. Um, we can't wait for the season. We'll probably be doing two episodes a week when the season starts. And me and Mike might also be branching out into some other podcast ventures because people have asked us to. Yeah. And then pretty exciting. This so is, uh, volleyball you- podcast we've been <laughs> wanting to do. So big volleyball guy, uh, a big minor league hockey the AHL big, podcast big time big big Iceman fan so thank you guys for listening um, make sure that you hit subscribe give us a review five star and all of that we will see you in a couple days when we do another breakdown maybe Joe will be back maybe it'll be Mike we don't know but thank you for listening thank you for watching and as always go Jags <laughs>